Hello once again, my wonderful viewers! And I decided to do this a little impromptu, as it were. There is a uh, showcase for Street Fighter VI happening today. So I figured I'd give my reactions to it. As normally I don't do these types of things, but Street Fighter VI is very, very important to me. So I figured I'd get my reactions on camera. And we'll see how this goes. Here we go. Hey Pretty everyone, sure. this is Susie Hunter, uh, aka the Spear Hunter. Hello, I'm Susie. Twitch and Gerard! To the Street Fighter VI Yo, what showcase pre-show. I'm here with my illustrious and very uh, amazing co-host, Gerard the Completionist. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, hey everyone, I'm so excited to be here to talk about Street Fighter VI as we are in the pre-show stages of all of this. Uh, I completely Susie forgot I Gerard was a fighting game enthusiast. The, uh, Capcom Creators Program, which is a Him very Jesse exciting both. program, and uh, we're just so happy to be here to talk about Street Fighter VI uh, as we get more information and learn more before the show begins. Uh, real quick, I just want to give a quick shout show. out. Um, Why is there a pre-show show right now? Uh, uh, Capcom and SciShow are going to be giving away a Blanca statue uh, that is very large. It's coming in at 26 inches, and if you want the ability to get in to win this statue, please check out the show. At the very end, we're going to be giving away uh, via a Gleam link, so be sure to check out for that. But as a disclaimer, oh, it is for the U.S. only, so if you're outside of the U.S., you can't enter in for the contest. Uh, but hey... This statue is huge, they're really high quality, and it looks really, really cool. That's enough about us. I think we should, what do you say? We talk about some Street Fighter VI and Let's... all 18 launch characters that mm -hmm. the game will be releasing. I'm gonna be playing with. Ken, I'm gonna be playing Jury, I'm gonna be playing JP, I'm gonna be playing Cammy, I'm gonna be playing Geef. Sorry, Al. Got your Ken, your Ryu, Chun Li. A little bit of Ryu. Kyle, but then you've got a bunch of Chun. Definitely, I definitely want to play Chun. Kimberly, uh, Mano, uh, Marisa, just to name a few. And, and Marissa, oh my God, yeah, Marissa. Looks Marissa looks really so good cool. So far, like. <laughs> It really feels like I, glow up is not the right word because it implies that everyone didn't look good before. But it really feels like all these characters we've seen we have seen very very little on, on Sim, and that worries me. All fit this brand new kind of street aesthetic. Uh, like we've seen more Honda than see Sim, and usually those two like go hand in hand, kind of technically. Uh, that we've kind of known over the last you know several decades of Street Fighter. Yeah, it's everyone's looking super cool. And speaking of very cool looking characters, I have. A nice little trivia question uh, for everyone at home. Uh, there's no prize attached to this one. It's just for fun. But um, who is taller, Chun Li, Jury, or Cami? Hmm. I wonder. The answer Chun. is Chun Li. Yes. Who, by the way, is five foot seven, which I would have never guessed. Five foot seven? That's scary to think. I'm I'm only five eight. So, but I'd still get my butt whooped by all of them. So I'm I'm. I yeah, Cammy's definitely that's the that's shortest. Uh, who are the three characters that you're looking forward to most, Gerard? First and foremost, I'm very excited for Zangief. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, I'm I've always been a grappler kind of guy when I'm playing these games. Um, you know, Geef looks Zangief, so cool. Uh, like, oh my years, god, he looks like the best he ever really has been. Like, a lot of characters look the best they ever they ever have been. But also very serious in his craft, and uh, th he, this time around, he feels very very much uh you know resonating in the, in the wrestler aspect you know he's Absolutely. calling out moves in real time as he's performing them uh you know he's dropping elbows he he, he really shines a lot in this in this redesign for uh, street fighter 6 and I, I really dig it next up cool. i gotta give it to, to guile guile and really? that go team man yeah. At they're first, like that the go team polar was a opposites little, a little weird but it's grown on me i dig it it's it's a i, I it's, it's a grizzled but also clean look and as a bearded gentleman i i'm i'm i gotta appreciate a good look i think he looks good you know like uh, like you said yeah it took it took a minute to grow on me uh not literally of course uh but yeah uh, <laughs> it, it really brings out that like old like uh military veteran kind of vibe totally you know? totally yeah. Uh, the last character I'm incredibly excited for is my boy DJ. He looks and feels okay. fresh. I'm. That's yeah, this is definitely the best DJ has ever looked. To play 
He actually looks like viable and dangerous uh, now, which is really extremely scary. Uh, I yeah. really like Kimberly's design and Lily's design. I can't wait. Kim looks very fun. Uh, In the absence on, of Ibuki, I'll probably be playing a little bit of Kim. Uh, Susie, let's talk about your three. What are your three favorite characters that you're really excited for for Street Fighter Six? Jerry, Cammy. So definitely Cammy. Mm -hmm. She's my main forever. You know, she was literally the first video game character I played as. So of course, she's my main. Um, but I guess more interestingly, I would say uh, Meno. You know, Meno? So okay. I'm not really like a, a grappler player. But her design is just so cool. Her design is like, very, very oh, cool. Oh, I, I love everything about that character. So I want to try to, you know, uh, dig into that play style um, for a bit. And um, yeah, Jury as well. I love my, I love my devilish characters. Mm -hmm. and, uh, jury in, in SF6. I don't even follow you, and I know your type. Which is, which is really cool. <laughs> I, I got to give a huge shout out to my friend, uh, Thea Trinidad, a.k.a. Zelina Vega. Uh, who obviously was announced as one of the commentators for Street Fighter VI, uh, but more recently she appeared uh, at the Royal Rumble dressed as Jury as they announced. As color too. Was just such. That was that was pretty cool. I'll give it to her. That was pretty cool. Watching a wrestling match and suddenly, you know, this person that you you know personally comes out dressed as as Jury and then like boom, it's announced right then and there in front of thousands of people worldwide. It's just so cool. I'm so excited for her and and really all the commentators. Who get to come to the table because this is such a cool, unique thing about Street Fighter Six that really Fucking makes Chen it feel and Tasty like Steve. a bridging gap between, uh, you know, events like Evo and and seeing it online yeah. and and being there in person is so different. It's no idea so what choice that was, but kind of come together. You know, that's okay. By the way, speaking of tournaments and uh, wrestling events and jumping off uh, top ropes, <laughs> I've got another. A trivia question. Yeah, that was a, that was a reach for sure. Anyway, no, I'm I'm there with you. It was great. <laughs> Which character, Gerard, has a fear of heights? Definitely not Chun. <laughs> definitely not Chun Li. <laughs> it's actually a new character, Marissa, who I'm she a has a fear of heights. Confused by because she is extremely tall. You'd Interesting. If you're tall, you're not. That's weird. That bad with heights, okay. but we're all flawed <laughs> in some kind of way. Look, I'm. I She's just, so cool. Look at that, that shit. I'm terrified, oh. I'm terrified of all the fighters. If if I met them in real life, I, I would run. Away. I'd like freak out as like, oh my god, you're you, and then you're, I would you're you. They're them, and they would beat me up. So, yeah, I feel that. Well, you know what you shouldn't be scared of, Gerard. Hmm. Getting out into the vast open metro city in World Tour. Mode. I want to see more oh on god, this. this mode. It looks so cool. I'm very hyped. This is what I'm most I excited think, for. Uh, something that uh, is really exciting about about World Tour mode specifically is how much the player is going to be able to customize their own avatars and put them at the epicenter of this story. It's going to be so exciting to put yourself there yeah. to be able to. I hope it's more in depth than what I've seen so far. In this crazy world. How pumped are you to 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 really kind of create your yourself or whatever character you come up with in World Tour? So I'm actually, you're right, I'm actually super excited about um, the character uh, customization and just, uh, you know, I am too. being able to unlock uh, new options as I progress through it. Um, it's just, you know, the we've all seen some of the some of the creations online. So oh, the, yeah. The There's very some cool really characters. Really fun, cool, and hilarious yeah. ones. <laughs> There's some really <laughs> weird ones out some there. Interesting uh, choice of words. I just think it's so cool how uh, limitless the tools are for yeah. you know, being able to create like a perfect character. For I'm you. going to and, create, you know, if, hopefully really they have a lot of slots, because I'm going so to like create Gen. I'm going to create Viper. I'm going to create May. May. Uh, I'm gonna create Gen. You know, I kind of look at that as a personal. I shout really, out really hope. I was very, I was very touched <laughs> by that. Um, but yeah, and you know what's? Uh, I, I really, really hope they add. Just, uh, even if they don't add actual characters, gets you like Street Fighter, I want you know, there's more move sets uh, for your creative character. I want to be able to make Gen. Uh, Part-time jobs. As if called, if he's not actually in the game. Actually, learn some of the deeper mechanics and and a lot of the. I should uh. You train oh, with, uh, close captions uh, aren't available. You know, legacy characters who are uh, your, your masters in this uh, in this special mode. You get to learn things like you know quarter circle forward to throw fireballs, and it's just it's such a cool way to get someone who's unfamiliar with Street Fighter into Street Fighter, which uh, I'm all about. By the way, <laughs> I'm I'm a huge fan of 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 learning 
by the like, kind of passage of time and with all the mini games kind of enveloped into the story and and just even the idea of you're walking the streets you know metro city or wherever you are in world tour mode and suddenly you're jumped or you're in a combat with 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 another you know npc and i even saw in the trailer that multiple npcs can show up in the middle of a fight like that is that really is cool so Cool. I'm I'm I extremely it, excited it kind for of this. Ties together the theme of, of Street Fighter Six in a way, which is kind of you know, fighting in the streets for for lack of a better term. You know, yeah. we, this is this. It's like is I wonder how far gen, the move set creation allows fighting. you to go. Like if yeah, you can specifically yeah. set and your yeah, not yeah, only your special moves, right. but just, what type so, of drive um, impact you have. Genuine in the sense that um, you are street fighting, and you're kind of like like through. I guess your drive rush technically, because everyone has like a different dash animation. Martial art with. But I wonder if like it's, it might just be like an archetype that you have to pick like or something. I don't know. Well, I think this is actually a great opportunity now to actually talk about the community because Street Fighter VI, let alone Capcom overall, has a fantastic and robust community of people out there who are just from, from pro players to, to, to artists to cosplayers. You know, that's one of the greatest things about Street Fighter as a franchise is that there's so many cool uh pieces of originality kind of brought forward through art and style mm -hmm. and we actually have some a couple of pieces and 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 people to show off today to showcase some of their passion and art uh through street fighter 6 so uh let's let's take a look at some of these cool pieces Okay. Yeah, so uh, first up, we've got uh, Katie Cosplay, who's uh, a good friend of mine uh, in real life. Uh, her chun -Li is good. just super accurate, her SF6 chun -Li. Uh She actually uh, debuted this uh, at the last Evo uh, oh, wow. here in Vegas, and she was getting stopped nonstop by just so many fans. That looks good. Uh, and the work speaks for itself, like as you can see. Yeah, she looks so much like chun -Li's model with the outfit even more. It's like... It's perfect. Mm. Yeah, when you see her in real life, just walking around, it's like, oh my and god. And it's accurate. It's not over-sexualized. It's <laughs> and, accurate. And uh, here's a Jahara Jade That's a good Kim. as Kimberly. And again, yeah, here here's the character just come to life. And you know what's so impressive, Gerard, is just like, this character, like, the second she got announced, this cosplay just appeared, you know? Oh, yeah. And I, it's just... I think we all kind of saw it on, on social media. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the minute, it was, uh, it felt almost instantaneous that this piece showed up. Uh, yeah. It just, Jahara J crushed it. It just looks so good. And uh, here we've got a really beautiful 3D render. I've seen this one. That's uh, a good Dan piece. That, that looks like actual in game art from far away. It looks that good. It looks. It yeah. looks I wouldn't like go that far. The proportions are a little off, but like it, it, it looks very, looks very awesome. good. Yeah, totally. Just super impressive. And of course, uh, Lily. That's a nice piece. Artist Quasimodo. It looks like a manga page. Some old cartoon animation vibes. Looks yeah, really it's very cool. classic I can 90s cartoon. Look, see an opening cutscene in this style. It looks so good. Yeah, totally. And uh, Dalsim by Clever nice. Art here. I think uh, I think this is very uh, reminiscent of uh, something that Kimberly would spray oh, paint oh, on a wall. Oh, she, to she totally sure. would do that. <laughs> she, yeah. she would she would do that after like doing a move on Dalsim just to prove a point. <laughs> yeah. Right. And here's your guy. Here's your guy. Yeah, I've seen this one too. He's, he's so. I don't remember if so I sent this one to Al or not. Go. The steam coming out of his nose. It looks so good. And this one is by Maru Unit. Very incredible. Impressive. Yeah. And we've got one more, uh, Kimberly by Mr. Nice. Jones. And I, I think I could probably speak for the both of us with all of these pieces. Like, they remind me Here so much of the art that you'd unlock in like the classic Street Fighter games, you know, like yeah, the gallery. Uh, arcade mode or something like that. Like it's just all like genuinely impressive work from all these community members. The it, you just see their personality and like who they are as people come through as their art, and that's really what art is, right? Self expression, and you kind of see that in each in in all these pieces. It's so cool. Well, everyone, that just wraps it up for us today. Please get ready for the Street Fighter Six showcase with a very special guest host in just 15 minutes or so. Please stick around. If you want a chance to win that Sideshow Blanca statue, 26 inches, it's a big boy, uh, please click the Gleam link in your various chats as you're watching this. And as we wrap things up, Susie, take us home with our final trivia question. So this final question is gonna be pretty tough, but I think you guys can handle it. What day does Street Fighter Six launch June 2nd. 
Okay, this one I know. I'm ready. Yes. You ready? I'm ready. Street, Street Fighter 6 comes out on June 2nd, and it's pre-orderable right now on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Steam. And that'll be all for us today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching the Street Fighter 6 Showcase pre-show. I've been Susie Hunter. I'm Gerard the Completionist. And we'll see you all in Metro City. Bye. <laughs> Later. Yeah, go away. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Nice shawl. A developing nation of little significance, tucked away in a remote corner of Asia. It's rather fascinating. Jury. With the pro tag. <laughs> nice. And fucking SPD to barrel. <laughs> oh shit. Oh Jesus. Oh god. What can I get for you? This is gonna be fucking MK Tower level of bullshit, isn't it? Nice. Nice, Hagar. Oh, you actually fight in the hub, too? That's sick! Wow! Oh, people are gonna create some fucking broken-ass movesets, too. What? That was sick. Nice. Oh, this is gonna be so fun! Jesus Christ. Oh God. Cammy's move set with Dawson's limbs? That's terrifying. What's up, everyone? It's your boy Weezy. Welcome to the Street Fighter 6 showcase. And how about that new trailer? No idea why you're here, but okay. I've been playing Street Fighter since I was a kid, but this new game is on another level. Mm -hmm. We're talking new ways to fight, crazy new game modes, and the most content we've ever seen in Street Fighter. Yes. So let's get into the game and get the showcase started with the latest from Street Fighter 6's director, Takayuki Nakayama. How many times did that take take you? Thanks for tuning in, everyone. My name is Takayuki Nakayama, director of Street Fighter VI. As you saw in the beginning of our latest trailer, Street Fighter VI features significant single-player content in the form of World Tour. I'm very excited. Today, I'd like to tell you more about World Tour. Yes, please. Yes, please. Hagar. We begin the story in Metro City. You'll be able to create an avatar with a high degree of customization. But can you create more than one? Antagonist joining Buckler Security Services training course. There, you'll meet your coach, Luke. Go through basic training and set yeah. off on your adventure. Gotta say, you're photogenic. Gotta help him handle this. And this showed. <laughs> I 
forgot his name already. It's during this basic training course that you'll meet Bosch, your Bosch, rival right. and classmate. And one of the great things about World Tour is that you'll interact with a slew of unique characters. Bosh, come on, man. So now we're ready to hit the streets. People from various walks of life inhabit the world of Street Fighter, but they all love a good fight. With a single press of a button, you can seamlessly enter a battle with them. Bystanders will also come to see what's going on. Street Fighter 6 features the tried and true classic six button control style, but also adds a new four button modern control style that features three attack strengths and allows you to perform special moves with a single button press. Okay. okay. You can perform special moves by pressing a direction and the special move button which will let you enjoy the tactical side of fighting games. Uh-huh. There's also an assist button for performing combat. That's a cute outfit. So use all this as much as you want. The more you battle, the stronger your avatar becomes. Earn experience points through battle to level up your stats such as your vitality. I'm going to be going in all over this. Some fights have specific objectives that can be completed to earn more rewards and items. Oh boy. And add a new wrinkle to combat. Okay. You can purchase wearable gear at clothing shops. That gear affects your avatar's appearance and their stats and characteristics as well. Oh boy. The product lineup changes from time to time, so check this out. I'm gonna have to sacrifice stats for, for fashion, as always, but There's also I'm good enough. I can handle it. To visit in the game. Hmm. Food purchased from these places oh. can restore your vitality, give your stats a So you get permanent health loss for a time. You can also use these items to give yourself a helping hand during hmm. battle. Okay. So that's a proper RPG, technically. Hmm. This way. Jamie. Here. Congrats. From now on, you can tell people you are a student of the great Jamie Show. Oh, lovely. Once you knock that back and make it official, anyway. I mean, I, I'll, I'll steal a move or two off of you. Maybe the command grab. <laughs> Though I doubt it'll work without actually having drink charges. Not boobs. Trust me and take a swig. It's a family-made herbal drink that really boosts your energy. But makes you look drunk. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> While exploring the city, open up your device to check the various missions you can take on. This is gonna be huge. This honestly feels this like has you going to Metro City's part Yakuza. To meet a legendary fighter. Chun. Becoming the student of a legendary fighter grants you access to their master action. Master action. Some master actions can be used to destroy wooden boxes and barrels, or leap to faraway platforms. I see, okay. You have plenty of opportunities to use master actions in different ways, but they all consume the drive gauge. Nice. You'll have to be careful how often you use them. Okay, okay. When traversing the city, there are enemies that will suddenly attack you. And that's when you can use the World Tour exclusive move, Drive Stall, to slow the flow of time. Oh, wow, really? This will slow down the movements of surrounding enemies. Me. Master actions become more powerful. Ooh. You can also use this to avoid enemy attacks or strike first to gain the advantage when the battle begins. Okay. During battle, I like those pants. start to glow white. This is when you have an opening to strike during an enemy's weakest point. Okay, counter hit state. Normal attack here will trigger what we call pressure time, and you'll do more damage than usual. 
However, if you can land a special move, it'll take you one step further. Ooh, okay. Put them into a stun state. Neat. Keep this in mind when battling on the streets. Okay. What does that look for? John. Sloppy. Be fun. I'm hoping she becomes playable later. in you when you decide to become a student of a legendary fighter, I love her theme her theme is so good take special missions complete those missions to strengthen the bond between you and the master and you'll open up new stories to learn more about them the master presence to strengthen your bond with them <laughs> and also see how they react to your gift okay choosing a master's style lets you use their basic attacks okay so your normals are a one choice thing and using that style in battle lets you accumulate experience points which raises your style level Level up enough, and you can visit your master to learn new attacks and expand your move set. Hmm. In addition to experience points, you can also earn skill points through battles. Increases punch can be strength. By opening up your device and selecting strength. skills. Unique attack strength. Here you can unlock buffs for your character that can increase their punch or kick strength, maximize their vitality, and hmm. more. The drive stall move we just touched upon is also unlocked via skill points. I see. As you can see, in World Tour mode, Sick. you can build a character that's unique to you by leveling up your style and skills and customizing your basic and special attacks. Nice. Damn. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> oh, this game is going to be so much fun to play. Oh, I'm so happy. That is, uh... Gladiatorial Arena. I just wander in it like, hey, what's going on, huh? Oh, hey, the lion. Don't tell me the, the lion was a boss fight. <laughs> of course it is. Oh! Hey, girl! <laughs> During your adventure, you'll obtain flight tickets, which you can use to travel from Metro City to other locations via the world map. Okay. If you want to learn all of the styles and moves, you'll have to dedicate some time to find the legendary fighters scattered around the world. Uh-huh. Very cool. All right. Mm. And you'll find many of your favorite characters in World Tour. Who the fuck are you? Some unexpected appearances, too. What in the world? Don't you worry, my friend. Hospitality is our specialty. <laughs> there are characters steeped in mystery, an organization you may recognize. Mad Gear. All of which come together to immerse you in the Street Fighter universe. 
Rudra. Wow. Nishal. Nishal is a large city that serves as another area to explore in World Tour. Complete with its own stores that differ from the ones you find in Metro City. Mutton curry. In contrast to Metro City's urban landscape, this city has a fairly complex topography. And who you'll meet in this new city will also differ. Refrigerators. You're fighting refrigerators. That's all I have to show you for World Tour mode this time. We hope that you enjoy not only the battle portion, but the story and creating your own character as well. Found them! Yeah! Bosh, why are you stealing shit? You better not be stealing from old ladies, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Talk about one of the other main modes in Street Fighter 6, the Battle Hub. In the Battle Hub, players from around the world can get together and have fun playing games and doing other activities. Mm. Like Access the good old days. Cabinets on the floor to play Battle Hub and extreme battle matches and games at the game center. I'm surprised these ones aren't multiplayer. You just or forced to do arcade. As you saw from the trailer at the beginning of the show, the avatars you create and train in World Tour can also duke it out. Ooh, yo! Oh, <laughs> oh this is gonna be disgusting! We also have a new Fighters Club feature added to Capcom Fighters Network. This will help players get together with friends or like-minded players. Okay. Salt Mines is coming here too. Existing club or create one of your own from scratch. Once you've set up the basics of the club, you can also create a customized emblem. Okay. Not only that, uniform? you can design your very own club uniforms that all members can wear. Huh. If you have a good idea for a club, let the world know about it. Okay. We're looking forward to seeing players don their club colors and enjoy the battle hub together. If you're all about that Street Fighter life, the battle hub is the place to be. This is your fave, Eternity, signing off. See ya! Very neat. Fighting ground. This is arcade mode and like score attack and time attack and all that, right? Come on, Ryu, you're stronger than that. Get up. Next up, let's talk about some of the cool classic stuff we have nice. in fighting the ground. And classic Eve. Good shit. Oh. Still got running there. In the video you see here, we've added a character damage toggle. During battle, fighters' faces, bodies, and clothing will get damaged or dirtied up. This will give fights a more realistic feel. Cool. Battle damage. The Love to see it. Turned on and off at any time. Real wins. Classic Ryu looks good. Where's Classic Ken? I want to see his SF5 outfit, honestly. I love that outfit. Sound accessibility options have been improved for Street Fighter 6. There are sound effects that will give you the heads up on the distance between you and your opponent. The height level of attacks. Interesting. Whether an attack hits as a cross up or not. Huh. 
and also to indicate your remaining gauge. We hope that these options will let you better grasp the situation of your fight. Very neat. When you first start the game, oh, good. the tutorial that explains the basics of battle and the combat system. Good, 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 good. Oh, and they even actually show you, like, give you a direct, um... In addition comparison to, to uh, the advantage it gives types, you. We've added an offline only control type where an AI assistant system will perform actions and combos depending on the distance from an opponent or the context of the fight just by pressing an attack button. We call this control type dynamic. And it's recommended for beginner players who are just getting into their first fighting game. Okay. Casual matches against friends and family. Or when you're experimenting with a character for the first time. Okay. Not bad. Hey, that's a cool ass count. Ah, there we go. There's classic Ken. Arcade mode is our single player mode, where you'll square off against the computer. Yoon, Yang. The twins. Been a hot minute since I've seen either of you, but don't worry. I'm doing just fine all on my own. The name's Jamie Show. Go through each character. That's how you pronounce that. You'll unlock a special illustration after the ending. Kami. Ah, special stage. Also features online ranking for your score. So get out there and challenge the world. Wow, it's a semi truck this time. They brought back the ball, Perry. Yo, that's sick. Viewed again in the gallery. Try to unlock them all. Huh. If nice. you're not sure which character is the right one for you, check out the character guides. Okay. Which will teach you about each character's unique traits and how to use their attacks. Each special move comes with a basic tutorial on how to use them. And you can experiment with them yourself by pressing the try button. Yes, just like that. Perform well and the characters will shower you with praises. Don't forget this moment. Nice. Once you've gotten the basics of a character down, head on over to the combo trial section. There they have basic, intermediate, and advanced. Oh, combos. sick! They have so many more trials now. Good. This is what this is what people needed. Slow down the game speed by fifty percent to practice your timing. Oh, that's helpful. That's super helpful. To expand your horizons and abilities. Oh, that's super helpful. You have a chance to finish it. You gotta take it. Player Vicious. one brings it home. In versus mode, you'll find team battles. Nice. Play with or against other players or the computer in this mode. You can compete in teams, single elimination, or double style battles. Nice. Make sure to turn on your favorite commentator and get ready for some fun with your team. Which means it becomes. Does your health carry over? Okay, it, it resets every time. So it's sort of like a KOF game at that point. That's neat. This differs from a normal battle because there are special rules or gimmicks on the stage. For example, you can have a battle where the winner is the first to knock down their opponent five times while rampaging bulls run across the stage. Or set up a rule where you have to complete the objectives displayed on your side of the screen first. Or well, random drones show up huh. with different effects when they're destroyed. This will let you have fun with other players in a party-like setting. Interesting. So give them a try. 
Extreme battle can be played oh, offline or out. in that the battle box, and also in custom rooms, which we'll talk about next. This is super sick. If you want to play with a group of players online, then creating a custom room is the way to go. This is what I was worried about, if we would have to... Cabinets in the room okay. ...can be set to one-on-one, -on -one, extreme battle, or training mode. Nice. Custom rooms now allow for up to 16 players at a time. Nice. We've made great strides to improve the experience compared to previous titles. Nice. Here comes a new challenger. Oh! <laughs> Got the Karen line. Show time! This is a great way for friends to get together and teach combos. Mm, yes. Or try out new characters. And they have online training too. It's gonna be incredibly helpful. Five should have had online training. Oh, I can't fucking wait for this game. Oh my god. Ranked match lets players worldwide compete against each other. Fight it out with players at your skill level to earn league points. For Street Fighter 6, in order to burden the player with less stress than before, we've added a new one-time rank down protection feature where you won't lose league points in certain leagues. Okay. In addition, we have character-specific and random character ranked matches. And Interesting. Rank match phases which will determine your rank for a period Look of time. Look at these costumes! Casual match also returns in Street Fighter 6, where you can play online without any change to your league points. So, what do you think? I am very excited. The team working on Street Fighter 6 has been challenging themselves to create a game that's going to become a long-loved Street Fighter title that It shows. It really play. shows. It's only a little bit longer, but we One more month. wait for everyone to enjoy World Tour, Fighting Ground, and Battle Hub. We hope you look forward to playing Street Fighter 6. I am. Oh, I am. I am. It's like the one thing I'm looking forward to this year besides the album 4. Okay. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Those new modes look crazy. All right, now let's go to Shuhei Masumoto. Street Fighter 6 is produced. Okay. Hey, everyone. I'm Shuhei Matsumoto, producer on Street Fighter 6. I'd like to walk everyone through what our plans are for Street Fighter 6 once the game releases on June 2nd. Okay. A big part of Street Fighter's charm is the cast of characters from around the world that appear in each game. We believe that Street Fighter is where players can take control of unique characters with their own awesome fighting styles. For the Please bring back Ken. Please. As well. Please. The appeal of the characters themselves is the most important element of the series. With Street Fighter 6, we're continuing development to deliver new characters to you every year. Today, I'd like to introduce the four fighters for year one. Okay, our first DLC characters! Let's go! Rashid, of course. Uh, Aki. Ed, I wish he would have stayed gone. And Akuma, of course. Mm. Year one will see the introduction of new characters, Rashid, Aki, Ed, and Akuma. Rashid joins the fight in summer 2023. Aki That's very close. In autumn 2023, Ed in the winter after the new year, and Akuma in spring 2024. These new year one characters will appear in World Tour as well. Oh, so okay. You can enjoy delving into their lore and getting their move set. In Battle Hub, we're planning various events and a store to obtain special collaboration items. We can't wait to show you what we have planned. For the 2023 season of the Capcom Pro Tour, Street Fighter VI will be the main game. Mm -hmm. To commemorate the release of the new game, 
The Capcom Cup 2023 champion will receive a special $1 million prize package. And the total prize pool for Capcom Pro Tour 2023 will be over $2 million. Everybody's going to want to play this game. Modern and classic control types will be allowed in the tournament. So we hope you're all excited for a new season of Capcom Pro Tour. Street Fighter 6 is available for pre-order now. And in addition to the regular version, we're also offering other editions that include the year one characters and content. You'll also receive special pre-order bonuses, so please check them out. Hmm. Okay, hope you're ready to begin. I am. I would like to. So this is the part where you announce the open beta before release, where you we have all access to all 16 characters, right? Please. Well, practicality comes in many forms, but if you want to start off on the right foot in this city, hit the streets. The demo, yo. Ah! April twenty-sixth for all platforms. Finally, we've created a special demo version of the game so players can enjoy the first bit of World Tour and some modes in Fighting Ground. The demo will allow you to create an avatar that can also be used in the main version of the game on the same platform. Mm. So, we hope you put in a lot of time with the avatar creation feature. I'm going to. Have fun. The PlayStation 4 and 5 versions of the demo will be available after this showcase finishes. Well, I gotta download that. Enjoy them. We're creating Street Fighter 6 to be the game that revolutionizes the fighting game genre. It shows. It really Today, does. Our development team has taken the lead and challenged themselves to realize something amazing. We're now at the point where their hard work has materialized into something we believe everyone will enjoy. Mm. And it's coming to you on June 2nd. Excellent. That's right, you heard it. The Street Fighter 6 demo is dropping right now. Mm. So create your avatar, explore world tour mode, and start fighting. Thanks for tuning in. Street Fighter 6 out June 2nd. Maybe you get to throw hands with your boy Weezy. Peace. Very, very, very cool. Excitement is at peak levels. It's gonna be so huge. <laughs> Kemi versus truck. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, so good. Oh, I'm so excited. Any after show special? Or is that it? Nice show. A developing nation of little significance. Or is this a uh, a rerun? I think this is a rerun. Fascinating. Well <clears throat> Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope you're ex as excited for this as I am. Uh if anybody even watches this video. But, uh, yeah. I will absolutely be covering this when it comes out. I will probably stream it day one. Uh, and that stream is going to be very, very cool because I'm going to be talking about my past, my experience with fighting games. I mean, I'm, I've never been super good at them, but I've always been around fighting games, and I'm going to, like tell a little story while I stream this when it comes out on June 2nd. So look forward to that. And, uh, I'll see you whenever. Uh, bye!